All right, B, uh, so you got this grotto here with a slide, but to make it tie all together, I really like this. You added rocks over here, so explain how you came to that. Started off like that or, you know, how we ended up here. That was part of, you know, just keeping this really natural feeling. And that's something that I noticed coming down from Virginia to Florida. You know, rocks like this and, and structures, this isn't really natural in, in a Florida environment. So when I see, when I see pools that are built here where, where they do a grotto, you know, it, it, if you just place a grotto in, in like one spot, it kind of just looks just like that, kind of placed in one spot. So to have some more rocks around the pool and have little planter areas and have, you know, a couple of rocks. And then another thing is how we have underneath the rocks, rock tile going into the water line. It doesn't look as if it's just set on the side of your pool. Um, and then littler details too, where, you know, typically we'll do step diamonds along the edge of the steps to mark the steps. Um, and, and that wasn't really in line with what Pam was, was wanting, but we wanted something out here to be able to see, especially for Dalton to be able to see where the edge of the sun shelf is. Um, so we found these little rock pebbly looking tiles and we just placed them in, in the corners and on the corner of the bench and then Pam's gecko over there. And it just all, you know, it tied it all together, but didn't make it your typical Florida pool like we, we're used to seeing out here. Yeah, as you're pointing that out, I just noticed that sun shelf's a different color than the right. pool. Yeah, and that, that was another thing is Pam wanted a very beachy looking sun shelf. Now, this is tan plaster and, and like we tell everybody, you know, tans in the water is going to definitely make the water have more of a green look to it. And a green pool, pool in Florida is a dirty pool. You know, it's not necessarily dirty. The water can be as clean as it as it needs to be, it's just gonna look dirty. Looks like it's got algae. Yeah, it looks like it has algae in it. So so we, that's what we did. We, we did a tan plaster on the sun shelf, and then as we went down to that first step, we brought in the Tahoe blue plaster to give it that teal look. And it that, again, it really makes it unique. And it ties in with, uh, with the rest of the pool looking more natural and, and flowing with the environment and everything. Uh, it ties in everything from these rocks here to that rocks to her koi pine that, yep. that she built to the pirates to her elevated lanai to the whole backyard. Like right. again, when I walked in, I was amazed because the pictures that I see, you know, I just see the waterfall. I don't, I don't see all this stuff when it's finished. Yeah. And she did an awesome job bringing it all together at the end, and also you did an awesome job just designing this and making her happy and them happy and you know everyone's happy if you're interested in having a pool built by superior pools please visit www.superiorpools.com